started. Okay. In order for you to be able to generate the new script, what you need to do is you need to go to Cerner, sign in to Cerner, subsequently sign in to PowerShark, identify your patient, and go to Orders. After clicking in Orders, you should be able to see in order to generate the new script. Add. Michael will demonstrate. And then you click the button Add. You, on the this side of the screen, you put Emitory Meds. Click. And then, for example, if you want to give Percocet. You put it in the tab and the computer will find the doses for you to select. After the doses are selected, okay, click the OK button, click Done. You place Done, and then you must complete the rest of the orders, right. including the number of tablets, two tabs, the, v, the VIA for administration, frequency, the frequency, the number of tablets, to dispense, and the number of refills. Zero. You must then go to the dating options of the computer, including the calendar date, one month from now, and the expiration date and time of your prescription. Subsequently, it will say DAW, which means dispense as, dispense as written. You may either select yes or no. No will be for generics. Chung is killing us with the typical 20-something-year-old clicking faster than he can see. All right. And it comes up with a dose range alert that you'll ignore in the usual fashion. And then tell them why you're ignoring it in the usual fashion. Then I it's use, done. And then you got to print. And the printer will print this prescription on special paper. Do. More than a print. There it is. Oh, there it and it's is. printing. And out it comes most commonly on probably the wrong paper, as this one did. So the ward clerk is going to have to put in the special prescription paper for you. That's all. Good luck.